In this video, we'll look at using transform command to move, also known as translate, and rotate a parcel we created in a previous video. Transform can also be used to scale civil geometry. These commands can be used with both regular microstation elements or civil geometry. The transform command is located on the geometry tab in the common tools group. The command can also be found under the terrain tab. On the dialog box, we, we can select transformation of different units. Uh, there are some predefined settings in here. They can also be customized, or you can browse transformations or reset them back to, to none. Um, we also have the option to copy an element or civil geometry. Um, going across the, the remainder of the toolbar here, we have translate or also be known as move or copy. Uh, we can rotate elements, we can scale elements, and we can def define whether we want to apply the transformation to the Z or the elevation values. Depending on which options you select here, the bottom portion of the dialog box will give you different options to choose. In our example, we're going to translate or move our parcel. So we'll toggle on the translate icon and we're going to keep our option set to cursor point. Next we'll select the point to translate the shape by and then we will select the top right of our parcel and then we're going to select this. Uh, we'll select the origin snap of the iron pin found at the top of the survey. Next we'll rotate the parcel to match the iron pin to the south. So be sure to toggle off the translate option and we'll toggle on the rotate option. We'll also change the, the rotate option now to uh, cursor point and we'll change the about option here to a fixed point. The next step will be to select the point that we're going to rotate about, which will be the top iron pin that we used previously. So I'm going to select my icon there and I'd like to use the origin snap make sure I'm getting the origin of that iron pin. Uh, now we'll select the point that we want to rotate to and that'll be the vertex of these two uh, property lines and I'm going to let the snap to the end of the point of the line and then again I'll snap to the origin of this iron pin. One last point to note on the transform elements dialog box at the bottom you will see uh, save and duplicate and delete transformation. So if you have a transformation maybe of units or, or a custom unit uh, that you're going to use frequently, you can save these options uh, for use again.